Hello and welcome back. Right, I have removed the offend offensive mod. It is no longer installed. If you look on my... You used to have the uh, Yo-Gi-Oh on there, which is weird because it should have really been on tools. But yeah, that's it. So I've only got the normal stone pickers now. So I am obviously now out of pocket somewhat. But it is a bit of a quandary. Bottom line is, I'm trying to be fair, it is hard economy I can't replace that I did spend the money so I think the fairest thing is to give me the money the only bad thing is obviously it was second hand now the only way I can do this is to give myself the money and buy a new one I don't see that as terrible it's not a piece of equipment we use an awful lot we use it once a year so I, I just think it's the fairest way for me to do it so with that in mind I believe it's 52,000 and if it's not we shall right I think I'm right yes it is I thought it was okay and we shall buy it excellent so then everything is back to how it should be and no horribleness now right now we need to be getting stuck in we have very very limited funds which just about be able to afford to do this but I'm not sure oh yeah I don't need to worry about leasing costs for once <laughs> this is this is a, a unusual place because we've never never been here before I've always been worried about uh, leasing costs getting this done in the hour truthfully now I'm thinking about this what do we yeah we do need to plant first don't we now you have to roll after you've planted I won't make the same mistake twice or liming we can't lime if we've planted so we need to lime first this is going to be tight between lime and seeds yeah this is really is going to be tight Right, let's use. I, don't th I remember this as a tiny weeny amount. I'm sure it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to go very far. Right, we'll fill this first because it is more important that we stick this in. Although 300, ah, I suppose I, I could be clever. Refill and then uh, expel. I think about three times at least. So let's expel three lots of seed. I might be wrong, it might be more, but I'm sure that's roughly it. Right. Certainly got to get used to using the um, this tractor. It's steering is... I've, I've used this... Oh, I've forgotten the word again. I remembered it yesterday. Now I've forgotten. Okay. Now then. Lime. Now we have a little bit of lime over there, but we all... Well... No, that's presumptuous of me, of presuming that everybody who's got to this point in the Let's Play, although it's a fairly, not a bad assumption, I suppose, has probably watched the episodes, or we did do the liming last time. Right, let's expel that. I'll do that over here. Let's get this lime in. Ah, oh, what's a full one? Okay. Now then, let's see the quickest splash of lime in history. Right. 
Remember, this is going to take a while. This literally, literally is about 12 to 14, so we've got 11, 11 to 13 left. as well. We should try to do this in a more methodical way. I was a little bit chaos theory gone wrong last time. Let's try and also get the edge of the field. It won't work. I know it won't. It's too difficult. Ah, spread it a little bit off the edge of the field. Yeah, so much for me leasing a thing for a thousand. I think that'd seriously send our finances out of kilter. Got no option. We are. To the, I know. I, I know. I could borrow five thousand, but I really, seriously would like to try to do it without first to see if we can, if we're close enough to actually achieve our end. I'd really like to treat uh, having a loan as the absolute last resort. Let's just follow up the edge of the field. Now then we need to go at a slight angle this time. We've got to get it goes so quickly that if you don't get yourself in the right position to start with, it's it's over before you literally blink. So we need to be going at an angle. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. I knew it happened. I knew you can't help it. It's well, at least we've been a bit more methodical than last time. We've almost I did it all over the place. The only reason I'm using the Deutz is because it's cheaper in repairs. And yeah, the Stayra's repairs are always 1,800. So if we did this with a Stayra, this seems hundreds for repairs rather than thousands. So yes, I'm enjoying it. I know we're trundling along slower, but. I can cope with that if it means me not, so especially at the minute, seriously need to. Uh, this is going to be very close to the bone. I'm glad we've take, got the seeds out first. As, as I say, I won't let us fail. I will take a loan out, but seriously, I don't really want to do that. I know this is an equipment thing, obviously. In fact, I know we have got a loan. We had to take a loan out for this, didn't we? I think, is it 15,000? see that let's have a look yeah 50,000 loan right let's try and get this right this time Makes quite a change over the uh, cabinless one as well, actually. In no man's land, that's not a too bad thing. Like an American map, I could cope with that there. If this was an English map, it'd feel all wrong. I suppose what I ought to do though, uh, when the rain appears, is change my clothes. <laughs> I don't think a hoodie is very good against the rain. Right, 
let's finish off we shall literally just go around the edge of the field we should tidy up afterwards because I know that that's not the only mistake I'll make that one there there will be others it can't be helped really when you you're doing this I don't think so so if we get the lineman done first and then we'll do the seeding that's all I'm attempting to do everything always takes such an age on this to be honest still not perfect though is it still a tiny touch oh well I don't think that can be helped if I I just don't get how the rates can be so different on this one and the um, XL. The absolute rate of application must be completely different because I've said this before, this is 14 or 15 or 11, it's definitely a lot. Oh, we should have counted now, I've forgotten. Should have to check in editing. Oh, I can see sort of one. How come some went longer than others? It's like this thing's just totally... Oh no, actually that might be because I did a good overlap. That might be two. That's two. Let's try and count. I'll double check in editing, but... Right, let's have a count. So... That's... Yeah, you can tell actually because you can see where I took over and the, I was in a bit better. So this is one. This is two. This is three. Coming up now. And this is four. So, we, including what I've got, this is five now. This is the fifth application we're about to put on. Let's get ready. You know, I'm not properly awake. I just can't, I can't remember what we just said, whether it was five or six again. I'm sure that was six, wasn't it? Gordon Bennett, goldfish memory. <sighs> six. from the place that we've got to Gordon Bennett there's lots left to do Gordon Bennett this is ridiculous I'm sure this is worse than last time wait till I'm hoping they do do precision farming if I'm honest I really seriously miss that I used to use that so extensively seven yes I miss that seriously 
Although I think precision farming on top of all of the new rules that we've had to learn would probably be a little bit too much. So, yes, maybe a good idea. I do hope they bring it in, though, truthfully, once we've all learnt the new nuances and the order that we've got to go in to do the things that we used to do in a different order, then that will be a good place to be. So this is number 9 coming up. I think I'm right. Let's just see in editing. So that number 9 coming up. Wow, this is going to be close. so unforgiving right 11 wow I think it was obviously far more than I kept a record of that first time this is going to be very close still on. Oh, good job we've not actually uh, keep that at one. Let's have a look at the prices of canola. Oh, I don't believe I've done that. Mm, still taking hours to go up. It's gone up about, yeah, not worried about that. It's got to go a lot more for us to sell our oil. Oh, what have we got in storage? All my life I've been selling. Oh, 
been selling at a poor price. Well, I didn't notice. Oh. Surely if it was one o'clock when we were selling, we should have just had a tick up. Or have we and I didn't notice? No, I think I'd have noticed 1,600 and odd difference, wouldn't I? Oh, that's annoying. Was that 13? Oh, I think it was. I'm rubbish at this. I'm keeping my eye too much on the money going down. <sighs> Say 13, I double double check in editing, but wow, 13 applications, 13 tons. as possible. Go okay, where our tracks were but try to angle we shouldn't be far off. That's the theory. is way more than I remember. This is going to be about 20 I think by the look of this. I'm sure that's more than last time. Oh, I'm going to check in editing. I'm totally confused now on how many.
I seriously cannot remember putting the canola oil on selling. I and we have lost 10,000. So that means it's sold 10 tons. Which is bad. Well, we're nearly there. Thank goodness. I'm glad we don't have to do this. Hopefully we'll rectify this next time and we'll have a little bit of money on hand to actually do this. I can't complain. I know we we are seeing a lot of growth. We've bought the tractor. We've bought the Einbach. We'd already bought the Yogi. -Oh. Yeah, now we've bought the proper Elho. Let's forget the name Yogio. It's uh, not a nice memory. Right, I think we're going to need this and then maybe another one or two for touching up. It's amazing how much this even splashes of of this seriously deplete this in just a blink of an eye. You know, I'm not sure if that's going to take two more just for that. It's not very forgiving if you go around corners. It's like it super uses it up if you start to twist, which that doesn't seem fair to me, but hey-ho. This is going to be as close to the bone as it possibly can be. This is why I'd lose like the passive income. This is just got to hope that we actually can... Not that I would let a harvest fail, I would take a loan out, like any farmer would, in that instance, to be honest. You wouldn't let a harvest fail, this is our livelihood, so you would, obviously, do your absolute utmost, and obviously I would too. But I hoped, I hate it, having to take a loan out. I can understand for the tractor, that, that I do understand, that was... I was quite shocked that this actually was capable of pulling the so very well. Its gear ratio must be fantastic, which explains why it's slow. It's usually true with most vehicles that are, you've either got torque or you've got speed or a mixture of the two, which then means your torque's not as good. Oh, wow. Whereas this is all talk, which explains why it can do the plough so well without losing speed, but it can't, it's not got much speed, so it does make sense, and also it's a heavier tractor than the Stara, I think. Let me just, I did mean to look at that actually. I'm sure it is. Let's have a look, let's put, I like to know these things. 9.7 tons and the stay is on the small tractors is it yeah it's almost half isn't it really so yes it isn't truthfully that surprising to think weight wise it has quite a big advantage literally almost double the weight and the torque so yeah it's not always it's as simple as it looks as a horsepower thing is it really when you consider the way that uh, tractors are made and it does with this in comparison to the stereo it does to me feel like that's been put into the game mechanics because the torque on this is amazing I mean it's 
I've still forgotten what kind of tractor this is. Articulators, that's the one. Let's get the big splash done first. And then we shall start. Ooh, 288 per one, so I've got less than three left after this. I hope that I was right with those three lits, lots of seed. I don't think I was. I think I've got to be careful. Do you know, I think I'd sooner... sooner be down on lime than I would not be able to seed. Oh, do you know, why do I do that? Even more so when I need not to waste any. I think the edges bits will have to just, apart from that, we'll try to do that. Oh, we're not going to have enough, are we? These splashes here are going to just literally take everything we've got. One tiny little splash left. Let's try and get that bit there done. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, yeah, we'll get one more. We will. I want to do this as properly as possible. Last set. We'll do that corner that's massive over there first. Those two, three little blobs there. And I don't think we're far off some of the tiny weeny edge bits. The w it was definitely better than I did it the first time. I've not got much edge missing. I will be interested to see though how many splashes we have done. I would say it's close to 20. Right, that's it. That's the rest is seed money. So let's get that big corner done first. To get ready to splash this perfectly or as perfectly as possible so as not to waste come at an angle and I'm not worried about that tiny little thing over there that's probably the worst bit that we've got left there's a tiny little bit around that edge I'm not worried about that but that is a little bit bad let's try and do one splash in that side is going to just go nowhere I know well not bad could have been worse right last job of the day or this session should I say it will not be the last job of the day that is certainly not true we will definitely be doing rolling I want to get this right for once to get the absolute maximum bonus that we can do for what we've got so let's grab our latest piece of equipment the iron bark the only bad thing is we are going to literally going to need to 
weed again because the weed is obviously not growing I don't think no it's not so that means we're gonna have to weed again we will use the stator for that because that's got narrows any jobs that are need nice tires will be the stairs job I'm not I'm not trying to replace it now then let's grab some seed and let's change to canola let's unfold let's unfold again because I pressed the wrong button. Right, let's zoom in a little. I don't need to be so far out for this. Right, and turn on and drop down. And let's go. Right, this is definitely going to be a time lapse. So I'm going to say my usual words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Finally, there is one spot and it's the spot that I forgot to 
touch plough so it isn't a missed spot well it is but it's not a missed spot from seeding it's literally is a missed spot from ploughing so not much we can do about that right I'm going to grab that last little bit of seed off the ground and then we're going to top this up the next time so I do like to leave as it was is very useful you never know when you were going to run with only 623 euros in the bank do you really so I know I'm, I could feel that I don't realism is what I'm aiming for immersion Okay then, excellent. I'm not getting rid of the cedar because you never know if you want to try to do another crop. I don't think I'll use it again, but it's practically worthless, but also you never know. Let's just move it though, it is, I didn't leave it in the best of places. Stick it next to this one, mind you, I don't know, I think they're both in a bad position. job and the stayer too I think that's that is the most mucky of them all I'm loving this it's absolutely ace let's grab that as well yeah it is getting it I thought it was not actually doing it Wow, I've seen I've only just used it once. And it's on slow. <laughs> right. Stay real. Because I know what I'm like, I'll only forget. I've not used the truck enough to get it mucky. I've only driven it from the top of the store down to here, but this should definitely be mucky. Oh. Does the rain clean things? Because that was ditched. I know I did the Russell Mash. I remember doing that. But this, the stainer, I can't recall ever doing this. Yeah, half pipe you definitely need doing. Definitely mucky. That's better. Now it looks like I actually care about my equipment. Excellent. And there we are. So, oh, right, let's just check. Let's just use our brain. We have planted our canola in the last possible month, which means it's going to be late again next year. Must remember that it's going to be in August again, and we're going to. Yeah, we're going to be in this cycle all the time. It's only a bad thing if you miss a day, isn't it? You've got you're stuck on that forever then. Right, prices. It's on the rise. We now, with one, this is the one thing we'll do. We're going to see out today as late as possible, keeping our eye on that. And we're going to look every half hour. Even if it means going through the night, I'm not worried really about that. But we do want this closer to the 2000, so it might be halfway through the night. But yeah, we'll do it every hour to begin with. Do it on 4 o'clock. Yeah, that's definitely... Ooh, that's slowing down. Yeah, it is. Mm, that's a little bit on the bad side. Let's go to sleep. It's, this is all we've got to do anyway, so let's actually do it. Uh, nine o'clock. It's getting to the 
dark side of the year. Let's see what prices are like this morning. Oh, wrong button. 1826 and staying there. We're in October. November's the best. We've got to sell it three times though. So this is definitely going to be. Let's sell now. Oh wow, only 4,000. How come? Right, let's go to sleep. And then we'll knock it on storing again while we zip through the day. And get find the best possible price for selling. good so we'll keep it on selling but we are going to go sleep straight through prices still how much have we got in our 21,000? Right, we're going to do exactly the same again while the price is so good. There's nothing more for us to do anyway. I, I know we've got to um, fertilise and everything. Ah, oh, didn't roll. I'm doing it again. Got carried away. Let's change that over now. We're going to look for a good price later in the year. Storing, we've got that's the last little bit we've got now, so we should sell that at the good day. That's not bad. That isn't bad. But saying that, we were literally on. We've got that would be another seven tons. So that if we sell that at a really good, that would be eight. It's a eighteen hundred. It would be about the best price I think we could hope for. 18 times 7, 7, nearly 14,000. So that would mean 33, 43, 47,000. We'd only ever get 37,000. So we've done better on price this year. We did actually sell at a slightly better time. So that is definitely good. We've got one last little thing to get out, and that is our profit for pretty much the year. But uh, on top of this, a bit of we get a bit of a splash from the stones and obviously we've got the steady income from our place of bull because I'm not going to say that definitely doesn't bring any income in only the uh, yeah that's, it is rubbish the wind generator is a bit hit and miss though that's also a bit if they're saying it's supposed to be 952 a month it obviously varies it must there must literally be a wind speed a variable in the program that actually works it out and you get less or more depending upon that because it does definitely fluctuate but anyway that is amazing oh let's let's go out on a high what is on the special not that we've got <laughs> oh dear the doits three meter Why did that say the GL420? These machines are used to seed crops like wheat, barley, or canola. Huh? Surely that's a potato harvest, potato planter. 
GL420. Huh? It... That's that's a giant's thing. It it does potatoes. <laughs> so I get it? Why? That's that's a bizarre. That is. That's a very good price. Were we considering going into potatoes? Which, quite frankly, we're not. Yeah, we're in the oil, we're in the oil business, and it is doing us proud. Uh, we, if we were just selling crop on hard economy, but we are now. Now we have got our tractor, and we've got the cycle. Well, we've got all of the equipment. Yeah, we do need to. Now that's strange. So we're just using the. Oh, we've missed rolling again. I can't believe that. We do need to fertilise, so we need to do that next session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I know what my memory is like, I'm going to prompt myself by grabbing the stayer and grabbing the fertiliser, and we shall uh, put that on the back. It does look like when you use the weeder preemptively, it works as if you were doing the spray because that says doesn't say any weeds are growing. So that is good. I'm really chuffed about that. So this is the first time we are in a unique position. We've always been yearning after a tractor. I know obviously these are both low range, but they do the jobs around our farm that are needed to be done. So seriously, we are in a unique position now where we're actually saving a little bit of money. got a little bit of money ticking up all of the time we've planted our seed so there's no no direct costs as of right now so let's just stick that right ready to go so we are sort of in a unique position in so much as we've bought everything that we need we've got the stone picker yeah we have we this is this is history groundbreaking history we are We've got a nine meter cedar for what we want. We know it's it's a bit cheeky, but it is. It's not a it's not a cheat or anything. So we've definitely got a nine meter. We've got a nine meter plow that obviously then we roll on top. Or yeah, when we're doing the stone picker, it's the same as um, doing a lovely seed bed prep preparation. So we've got everything we need to get the job done. Everything from start to finish. So this year we aren't looking at trying to buy anything we're trying to look now at, at growth which if I'm honest I would say was a field if we do though there is one thing I am going to say let's have a look what is the maximum we could do because we're it's the sunflower and the olives I, it's we're not rich enough to go into olives I think it's definitely got to be sunflowers first traditional we can even can we play you know, I'm forgetting my basics. Let's have a look. do not surprise me. Let's have a look. So it is. Now it is planters, isn't it? I don't want anything less than a. Ooh, 4.5 meter. Six would be better though. How heavy is that? What's. 150. We can do it. Hmm. We even could the the lem can. I think that's got a front box you need as well, hasn't it? Though, yeah, it has. Hmm. Oh, so that has got storage though. That's just additional storage. So you don't need the front box then. Not how close we are to our cedar. So that that's looking good. I don't really want to go much below. If I'm honest, I'd prefer to go for that. I'd love to go for the Optima. I know we're slightly underpowered, but as we've already seen, if we use the right tractor for the job, I think we'll be all right with that. So that is 90 grand. So before we buy a field, we need to be looking. I suppose we could be looking out for a planter on on the sales, but I don't want to go any smaller than four, four point five meter. Otherwise, it's going to be 
seriously the one thing I'd love is that the 9 meter great planes because it does everything not looking for that on the special though Oh, and you can fertilise as well at the same time, can't you? Which that would be a huge bonus. Right, okay. I think that's... We've got plans then. So, first thing we need to do is buy another field. We could be sneaky as well, truthfully. We could in the first year, because we've got a 9 metre cedar. We're not going to be able to afford another field until next harvest anyway are we I don't think I'm trying to think is there any way oh, I've still got the loan to pay off as well I'm 15,000 so yeah it's not quite so cut and dry as that still I'm not in any rush to pay that back could knock 5,000 on the head Yeah, we'll do that. We will work on it, but we'll work on it slowly, I think. So definitely, I reckon field, because we're at a point where we're just rinsing and repeating now. We've limed again. That's another two-year, three-harvest cost. So, yeah, I think, yeah. We've also, yeah, I'm thinking, not forgetting myself, we have also got some more money to come from the, um, the canola oil this year. So I've got to try to throw use that card wisely to be honest so we've planted yeah we've just the only additional cost we've got now is two sets of fertilizing that's it and actually we've got one set in there so it's actually no no that it takes to just under 2000 liters every time about 1600 so that's 1200 about 1800 so yeah i just suppose to be honest the daily tick up of our placeables should cover that in the long term where it's not actually affecting us so yeah I suppose seriously you've got the if we're fortunate 14 odd thousand so we should be sitting on 42 grand which will tick up very slightly as we go through the months close to harvest because there's nothing we can do now absolutely nothing so yeah that's where I'm going to leave it I'm going to say thank you very much for watching I hope you're going to continue with me on this journey. I'm quite chuffed. I, I can see, I can see us coming through the other side. The hard three meter struggle we had, and the four meter struggle we had, is now replaced by nine meter equipment. That is good. It is a good place to be. I know we've still got the three meter, but that's a, that's a backup plan in case anything went south. But we have nine meters equipment in nearly every way so yeah I'm well chuffed the only bad thing I'm gonna say is the um, our sp spray has not been used in years now being as we've got the we've preemptively weeded stroked seeded I mean that is actually such a handy bit of kit that it weeds as well as seeds at the same time I never never looked at it in that light before because I didn't realise you could preemptively weed, as we can see. I mean, I've done that two years now on the trot, and it works. There is no, no weeds growing. So we have destroyed the weeds by using the weeder stroke cedar, which is absolutely amazing. I really do love that. That is fantastic. So that saves us a job and rolling around the field twice. So yeah, absolutely bonus. To me, we're in a very good place. So anyway without any further waffling from me thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now